Send your present issues to omitelevision1 at gmail.com for our resource persons to address them for you on the show. Okay, so welcome back from the break. You're still live here on our OMI television. Time for us now to go on Skype and speak to Hans Nunu, Sape, uh, player of Stuttgart, but currently on loan with Gutterforth. And uh, we have him on the line. Hello, Hans Nunu, Sape, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing well. And um, what about you? I'm also doing very well. Okay. Uh, Hans Nunu Sape, we know of Hans Edu Sape. Is there any link or correlation with the name? Yeah, that's uh, that's my uncle, um, the the brother from my father. Okay. Yeah. So Hans Edu Sape is your uncle. Yeah. Right, that's right, right, right. So how does it feel having the, an uncle who have uh, played? for the Black Stars, even at the World Cup level, and his feet in Germany, and you also having the same name, and you also being a footballer, how, how is it? Do you feel pressured? Um, for, me it's, um, for me, I think it's my destiny. Uh, I would say it's to be playing here in Germany, it's, it's like a coincidence. Mm. Because um, coming from Ghana, it wasn't um, the plan to go to Germany because I went from Ghana to Italy and mm -hmm. I was in Italy for, for some time before I changed to, to Germany. Okay, so tell me a bit about yourself. Who is Hans Nunu Sape? Yeah, Hans Nunu Sape is, um, is a Ghanaian born um, coming from Jamestown Palladium. Mm. Um, I started my football when I was very young, you know, playing at home, playing with my friends. Also in the school, and then from the school I got the opportunity to to join Liberty Professionals. Mm. And yeah, from there, um, at the latter days of um, my my days with Liberty, I was with Olympics. Okay. During this time, Olympics was. Um, let's say uh, a very long time in the first division mm. and um, i was joining them for the second round and we were able to qualify olympics to the premiership mm. and then um, i went back to liberty and um, by the grace of god i got the chance to fly out of the country okay to italy okay so that's uh a great bio that you've given us now growing up let us look at the, your educational background and school and how did your parents react when you wanted to play football yeah um firstly i will talk about this part with my parents mm. because in um, in our family it's like um, it's football is in the blood mm. because my father played before football um, my two uncles also played football which one is Edward Sape and one is um, Hans Nunu Sape uh, so growing up I was it was like I will also play football it's just in the blood um, but uh, I went to school I had um, quite a good um, education mm. um, but I didn't want to further my education because uh, most of my friends were during that time, you know, playing for clubs, some of them in academies. And, mm. you know, I was, my mom wants me to go to the school, mm -hmm. to continue school. But uh, one day I could remember, um, I told my mom, I don't want to continue school and I want to play football. <laughs> and she was, she was so disappointed and it was it was a very difficult um, decision to take 
or oh, it was a very difficult moment for my mom to accept that I don't want to uh, further my education and I want to focus 100% on football. Mm. So from this, uh, my stepfather, may he so rest in perfect peace, he's dead. He was, um, he, his classmate was uh, Cecil Jones, Satuku Efiu. Okay. And during this time, um, Jones was, I think, um, in Liberty, he was the director in Liberty. Mm -hmm. So he asked me if it's okay if he speaks with um, Jones so that mm -hmm. I go to Liberty. I said yes. So he spoke with him and they said, yeah, I can go to Liberty. And that's when um, the journey started for me. Okay. So let us look at uh, your reign at Liberty Professionals. So who were some of the players when you uh, uh, were at Liberty Professionals under Jones? I took with you the legendary coach. Yeah, when I when I was in Liberty in my first days, there the, there was uh, the goalkeeper Daniel J, okay, who was um, um, a yeah, former Black Stars player yeah, and also and a, um, 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 a World Stars Cup winner with the national under twenty Goal, goalkeeper too. There were Casino Gandhi, okay, um, the brother from Sule Montari. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of stars. Isaac Saki, mm -hmm. um, what is his name? Uh, now playing in Portugal, I played with him. Emmanuel Hackman, okay. David Mills, you know a lot of a lot of you know Liberty. I think for now you should know Liberty. Mm. A lot of stars um, who has travelled, also who are also playing in Europe. I was also playing with them. Most of them were my seniors. Yeah, so it was like also a very good motivation for me because during that time we had um, a whole lot, a whole bunch of players, a yeah. lot of players. And, uh, and during you your never time... know when your chance comes, you know. But um, the ones who were our seniors who traveled outside the country, who made it, they, they motivated me a lot. Okay. Were you able to break into the first team of Liberty Professional? Did you play in any Premier League matches? Um, honestly, not. I was never um, playing in the Premier League, or I think only one time I was on the bench mm -hmm. when we played an um, a FA Cup game. Yeah, that was that was all. I was all the time with the um, most of the times with the U20. I was also the captain of the uh, of um, U20 under 20. Mm -hmm. But um, I was promoted to the Premier just only one year, but I, I couldn't even make it to the team or be in the starting 11 or something like that. I never played any Premier League game. Okay. And then when you joined the uh, Accra Great Olympics, then they were in the Division 1. Did you have uh, a lot of playing time there? Yeah, when I when I joined Accra Great Olympics, it was um, I would say it was um, a destined um, period and a destined time for me because um, we played a friendly game with um, against Olympics, and during that time they were mm -hmm. preparing for the second round, mm -hmm. and they needed a right back, mm -hmm. and at the same time they needed um, a midfielder in number six, and during the friendly game I was. I, I started to play right wing forward, which we normally say number seven. And then the second half, I was playing uh, right back. So I'm like, I'm a multi player, a multi positional mm. player. And um, I think the, the coach from Olympics was impressed with my performance. And um, they were looking for a right back, so they contacted Liberty and they told Liberty if. It will be pos possible for me to to join them alone, so that I can play on the right back. Yeah, but um, by then our team manager was Sabankwe. Okay. And um, Sabankwe told them, yeah, it's then it's not it's not me because I play number six. I'm mm -hmm. a midfielder. So it was like a misunderstanding between the coach from Olympics and Liberty. Because I'm a number six, and they are asking of Sape to play right back. <laughs> so then, um, for 
after everything, Olympics got to understand that um, I'm a multiplayer. Okay. So it it was like a jackpot for them. So they made the deal. I went to Olympics and I was playing number six. I played the whole game, the every game except for the last game, which we had already qualified for the playoffs. Um, in the playoffs, which we played in Kumasi, I also played all the three games. Yeah. So it was uh, it was also a very very good experience with Olympics and um, I loved the, the club. I, I I loved the fans. You know, all the insults and all the the chants and all that things. You know, they make you grow and they make you mm. uh, stronger. Yeah. Did you receive any call up into any of the junior national teams, the under 17, under 20, when you were playing for Liberty and even Olympics? Yeah, when I was um, in Liberty, I think when I was um, around 15, yeah, um, we were invited one time to, to the national under 17. Um, but um, we we couldn't we couldn't make it to the final squad. It was okay. um, um, Emmanuel Hackman and I. Yeah, we was there in the camp for one week training with the national team, but we couldn't make it. And um, when I was in Olympics, yeah, I think I, during this time I was 17 or something about there about. I was also I got the chance also to be invited to the national under 20. Mm -hmm. And um, I was also in camp for some days. We played some friendly games, and yeah, n normally I think I was young during that time, so it was also um, a difficult situation for me to break in the team, but also a good experience. And after the the playoffs, I think the national team was supposed to travel somewhere for a tournament. And during this time, also, I got um, the call from Italy to come. So we, we sat down with um, the trainer from the national team. And um, I will call him my father, Dada Anson. Mm -hmm. And um, George Free. we sat down together and we decided that it's better I go to Italy than with the national team. And I think... Um, with their experience and the decision they made for me really helped me because I went to Italy and everything went well. And, Which club um, did you go I to always in Italy? Give them thanks for their decision for me. Yeah. Which club? Which club did you go in Italy? Hella, yeah. Which Hella's club Verona. did you go? Hellas Verona in Italy. Oh, okay. And uh, were you picked yeah. straight away? No, I was um, first. I was there for um, three weeks trials, okay. mm -hmm. and then after the three weeks trials, they 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 took me. Yeah, so I came back to Ghana, and I um, I was in Ghana for I think three weeks again, and then I went back and yeah, I was there for I think one year seven months before what, I moved. What, to what was the impact in uh, Kievo Verona? No, in Hellas. Okay. There are two clubs, but they are in the, the same city. The same city. Which is so Hellas, Hellas Verona. Verona and Kiev Verona. Okay, okay. And what was the impact? How many yeah. games did you play and, uh, and all that? Yeah, during that time, during that time, I was 16. I was 16 um, and it was really difficult. I was 16 and a half. Mm -hmm. So I was just training with, mm. uh, with the first team. Mm. Just only training and training and training, and yeah, because um, of the FIFA rules, also, I um, I cannot um, play any game because I wasn't 18. Mm -hmm. So they took me in like um, in the form of adoption, and um, I was training all the time with professionals, and from this also I got really really good experience because. During my time there, I was uh, playing or training with Luca Toni. Mm -hmm. I was training with uh, Javier Saviola, the Argentinian player. 
He okay. played also for Barcelona, won the Champions League. I was also playing with Rafael Marquez, the captain wow. from Mexico. Uh, um, Bosco Jankovic from um, Serbia, which um, we played against them in the World Cup. Also, Alfred, you know, there were a lot of stars. There were a lot of big players during this time in the club. So it was um, a really, really good good step for me to learn a lot from them, from the way they, they, they live professionally, how disciplined they are, you know, how they train, and all that, that those things. Their advices has also helped me a lot, yeah. So from Italy, where, the, where was your next destination? From Italy, I came to Germany, and uh, my next destination was Hoffenheim. Okay. Um, I signed, um, I signed um, a four-year contract in Hoffenheim. Yeah. Was it the and time Pristego was, was at Hoffenheim? Or it wasn't... Please come again. Yeah, I'm asking that uh, the time you signed for Hoffenheim, was it the same time Pristego was also at Hoffenheim? Or he had left before you came? Oh, Prince Tego has already left before I came. Okay. So what was the impact you at Hoffenheim? How many games did you play? Yeah, also in Hoffenheim, I, I didn't play any game because um, they, they wanted to, to win the, youth, the German Youth Championship. So they, they wanted me to play for the U19. So that we could win, we could win the youth championship, but um, it didn't go well. Um, there was some kind of misunderstanding between um, the club and uh, my my agency. So yeah, my my agent contacted um, a friend who also has um, contact in Stuttgart, mm. and he spoke with Stuttgart, and Stuttgart said, okay. Um, I should, if it's possible for me to come and um, train with the profis one for just one one time or mm -hmm. one day because mm -hmm. they don't know me, they have not seen me play before. Yeah. So we made this decision. We took the risk. I went to Stuttgart and I trained with them one time, and yeah, the the trainer was happy with my performance. So they spoke with Hoffenheim. Mm. And um, they came to a conclusion, and yeah, Offerham also agreed that okay, we want him to play U19, and you want him in the pro is no problem. So Offerham um, cancelled my contract, and then I signed um, another four-year contract with Stuttgart. So how long have you been so with Stuttgart? How, um, I, I I was in Stuttgart for for the whole year. Okay. For the whole year, everything was well until um, I got injured and um, I was operated on. And then when I came back, it was a bit too late. The season was almost over. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Stuttgart had also bought some players, so it, it would be better for me to go on loan. So I went on loan in Slovakia. I came back again um, to Stuttgart, and in this time, in, in my first year, we were able to qualify from second Bundesliga mm -hmm. to first Bundesliga with Stuttgart. And after Slovakia, one year in Slovakia, I came back again to Stuttgart, and this time in the Bundesliga. And um, I was able to break into the team mm. with hard work. Yeah, And I was, um, I would say, I, I was blessed with Two Bundesliga games, yeah. So, and, uh, which games did you play in the Bundesliga so, for Stuttgart? Yes, um, I did. My first game was against Hanover, mm -hmm. and um, my second game was against Hoffenheim. Mm, your yeah, former club, my old club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, but then, unfortunately, um, at the end of the season I got injured again and I came back and I was with the team again and then 
um, great athlete came calling and I have to come again and you know play here in Fiat. So now which team are you currently playing for? Now I am playing currently for Great Fiat. Okay. The second Bundesliga. Yeah, I, what has been your contribution so far? How many games yeah, have you enjoyed um, before the I have COVID? I've been able to contribute that I have played them um, I think 18 games. Mm. 18 games I have had the opportunity to start I think 9 or 10 games. So mm. for me I think it's um, it's a great um, step and it's a great improvement in my career. And um, we have also had um, a good season. We are fit on the league table, so it's it's going well. Yeah. The Bundesliga is back, and how do you see uh, the Bundesliga returning without the fans, without the various uh, social distancing rules and all the things? How do you assess the comeback of the Bundesliga? As previously it was yeah, before. Um, it's for, for, for us, it's very, very important, you know, to stay two months in quarantine, lockdown, training at home, training on Skype, you know, it's sometimes it's boring, but um, it was, a, a, first of all, I will say thank you to the um, German government and also the DFL for making it possible um, to bring football back again for us. And um, I know how difficult it is for us, um, the players, which I'm also hoping that other football associations and governments from other countries will also be able to work things out to bring, the, uh, to bring football back. And um, with the issue of the fans, I think it's also right uh, not to bring them in the stadium because of um, hygienic and to prevent the spread of the virus. Yeah, we know we all know it's difficult also for the fans because they always want to be there to cheer their club and so so. But it's also important to keep our distances and prevent the virus from spreading. We as a team, we as a we as a club, or we the players. We try as much as possible to motivate ourselves um, individually and also as a team and to play, which on Sunday we played against Hamburg. Mm. And it was like, without fans, it was like we play, uh, we are playing a friendly game okay. or in the preseason game. But yeah, you know, it's, sometimes you just need to adjust to the situation and you know make uh, much out of it yeah so have you played have you played since uh the games return yeah 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 um last week sunday how many say, minutes do you play um, two, two days ago we played against hamburg and yeah it was it was good everything went well the way the the government the way the dfa wants us to to behave or to take the precautions, we, we did it and we hope um, everything went well, yeah, you know. And how many minutes did yeah. you play? Did you play in that particular game? How was the duration? Yeah, I, I, I came from the bench and I played, I think, 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm happy to, to come on and, and help my team uh, because when I was coming on, it was... We were two one down, and um, yeah, I came on, and in the last minute we were able to equalize. So also it's uh, it's a positive impact for me to to come on from the bench and help the team to uh, get this uh, these results because it's very difficult. It's a difficult game against Hamburg, one of the favorites to to qualify to the Bundesliga one year. Yeah. Would you say that uh, you are now comfortable with uh, Gutterford or you're looking at uh, going back to Stuttgart? 
Um, I am I am on a three year contract now with uh, Greta Fiat. Okay. So yeah, I am looking forward to the end of the season and what will happen during the transfer window. Um, when something um, fruitful or um, a club comes up or something like that, yeah, we will take the next step. When not, we will, we are still comfortable. We are still winning. I'm still willing to work with a greater fit. Okay. When nothing comes up, yeah. Uh, there is a new administration in charge of Ghana football, and the mm -hmm. Black Stars now have a new coach. Have you spoken to the new FA uh, executive committee members, or have you even had an interaction with the coach of the Black Stars? Um, not really, but uh, this is um, something I'm really looking forward to because um, from, I would say, last year I was looking forward to it very, 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 very much for... Um, maybe at least a conversation or a call-up, yeah, but it didn't work. But um, I will not uh, keep my head down. I will keep my head up and still open my doors and my. I will keep my phones always alert and wait for this kind of calls and a call-up because last season I was playing in the Bundesliga and it was, I would say, um, only two or three of us Mm. From three Ghanaian players who were playing in the Buddhist Liga, I think uh, it was me and um, Kasim Nuhu. Yeah. And I think one other guy. So we were the only three players playing the Buddhist Liga. And during this time, I was hoping that I would get a caller, but I didn't. And um, I know we, are, we have a lot of players outside who are also wishing for a caller. So... I will still keep my fingers crossed and I'm always prepared and ready to to represent uh, my my motherland. Yeah. But looking at the quality of midfielders that we have as a nation, do you think you can break into the, the, the black stars when given the opportunity or a call up? Do you have what it takes, the quality to break into the team? Um yes. Yes, I I think I have the quality to to break into the team um, with my experience, with all the things I have learned, which I am still learning. And I think, especially with my style of play, um, I I can get a position in the team. I can break into the team. I can fit in any system at all. Um, the the trainer wants to play. Um, whether um, a double six or one six or three back, because I have had experiences to play in all these kinds of um, um, systems. And also, um, I am not just a player who plays number six. I can also play um, center back, which is number four. I can also play right back. So I am, I am a player, a type of player I can fit in any coach's system. Have you received uh, any tutorials from your uncle, Hans Dusape? Are you in contact with him? Does, has he given you some of uh, uh, the tips as to how to succeed in, uh, in Germany and even when you get a call up to the Black Stars? Um, honestly, not really. I don't have contact with him. I don't have any contact with him at all. No contact at all. Okay. Let us look at uh, your, 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 your career. Yeah. Do you think this season you would qualify to the Bundesliga? Um, is it possible? This is something, this is something I believe in. Um, I don't know about... Uh, I don't know what my other colleagues believe in, but... Mm. Um, I believe we can. We have the potential and we have the quality to qualify to the Bundesliga or even make it to the playoffs and even qualify to the Bundesliga. Okay. Um, and I think also um, our trainer team, they also believe this because um, 
when the season started, I think they weren't thinking about something like that mm. until, you know, they realized, yeah, we are having a good season and there is a possibility to make it because um, the favorites are even also having problems with uh, the smaller clubs. And this, you, when you check on the league table, it's only, um, I think, five points to the playoffs and, and six points or seven points to the second on the league table. So um, there is a possibility we, we, we can make it to Bundesliga 1. Okay. And uh, has your name, with the links with your uncle Hans Edusape, has it uh, helped you in any way? The name Hans Edusape, has it opened any doors for you since you are also Hans um, Edusape? Um, not really. It hasn't opened any door for me. Mm. Um, I would say the name is just a name. Mm. One way or the other, it, it, has, um, it has helped me to, to improve. It has mm. given me a reason to, to, to work hard, to sacrifice, to, make disi to, to be disciplined with my, with my work or with my job, with my career. Because um, whenever I, I find myself somewhere, the name doesn't open the door, but rather it, it brings me pressure because people think, yeah, I, my uncle is, and Sedu Sape is playing, he's a professional football player. He played before for the Black Stars, so I also, which means I have, um, I have an easy life. I, I have, uh, let, let's say, I have a lot of opportunities, but it's not um, that way. Whenever I appear somewhere, people expect more than what I expect from me because of the name. Because they, they think, yeah, you have an uncle or so, 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 then you have to perform, like, let's see the reason why your uncle is, um, is a professional football player and you are also a football player. So I would say the name has had um, not that a negative impact on my life, but um, has improved my life for me in terms of my job, in terms of my career. This is what I would say, yeah. We are wrapping up and uh, where should we or what do you expect to be in, uh, say, the next two, three years? What are your expectations and which clubs? What are the expectations and the clubs that you want to play for in the next two, three years? Should all things be equal? Yeah. Yeah. In the next two, three years, um, I'm hoping to, to make a step. Mm. Um, forward a step higher to to be in one of um, one of the good good clubs or big clubs in Europe's top five leagues. This is uh, my goal, and I am um, hoping that in the next two or three years um, I I can achieve that goal. Yeah, maybe in England or in Spain here in Germany as well, in Italy, uh, of course, it's, it's a dream and I hope to make it a reality in the next two or three years. Before you go, have you been following your club Olympics and uh, Liberty Professionals back home? Yeah, I, I, I have been following the, the Premier League. Mm. And um, I will I will thank you very much for asking me this question because um, I have waited for um, a long time for an opportunity like this to be on air to congratulate um, all football players, all players in the, um, in Ghana, mm. all players in Ghana because um, I know how it is, I know how difficult it is, and um, it's not easy to play in Ghana to play in this league um, in terms of um, our, um, how can I say it, um, our health, our, our health and um, when we are injured, when we are traveling, all our pitches and stuff like that. Um, I respect them a lot, a lot. And I always, um, I always say one or two prayers 
for everybody who plays in the league because I know how it is. You can easily, your career can easily end when you get an injury, which maybe the club doesn't have enough money to take care of your injuries, you know, and then your dreams are shattered. So um, I am I am here calling out to my fellow players who are playing in Europe. Also, um, that uh, they should also help me to in prayers or whatever we can do, because I think as of now we can only wish and hope and pray that any time the league resumes again and they play games. There is not going to be any major injury or any fatal um, incident that will occur to them. And I hope my fellow friends will also uh, join me to support this this thing, which is one thing I I have in mind that when hopefully by the grace of God, when I'm successful enough, I will try to see what I can do to help um, if not every player in Ghana, but most out of the league, to keep our league attractive, to keep our league going on and stuff like that also. So I know Olympics is not having it easily in the league. I know Liberty also. Every club is having problems, but they are the two clubs I mostly uh, follow during the league. Yeah. Hans, thank you very much. I had a privilege talking to you. Thank you also very much for the opportunity for this interview. Thank you very much. Okay, so that was uh, Hans Nunu Sape. I hope you did enjoy the interview I did very much. It's time for us now to switch to boxing. Yes, yeah, so we have an interview with... Uh, a boxer coming your way. But before that, let us go for this short break. We'll be back with more. Keep watching the Sports Coffee Show. My name is Bennett Kenyanson. <laughs>